Yesterday we got to go to OSU's materials lab and actually do a tensile test of a recycled material that we don't really know what it is. It's a biopolymer and we were the first ones to test it, so it's kind of cool. leader, Dr. Bruning, um, he uh, put these two chemicals together. I don't know exactly what they were, but the chemical reaction they made was nylon, and we got to watch him pull out never-ending strings of nylon, which was pretty interesting. He made like little tin and lead pancakes. And then he would, after it's melted, he would put it on this flat, hot plate. We noticed that the lead would form really quickly, like go ahead and dry and solidify, whereas the tin would take a really long time to solidify. better because we don't have to like read out of textbook and it gets really really boring and we do have lectures and classes but I think that we also get to do really fun activities which kind of makes up for sitting around in the class. We went to OSU library we did research for our projects that we were doing this week trying to figure out if we can take things that are non-reusable and put new stuff in to make them reusable. I love science and I love math. And this is different because it's uh, more hands-on. Just reading about it is nowhere near the same. Actually seeing it, I think, helps me. I'm more a visual learner, so if I actually sat there and be able to handle it and actually see what happened, it's better for me than just reading it out of a textbook. Mm -hmm. 